Hey, this is Nat and we're off our couch in Clearwater Beach, Florida, about 25 miles from Tampa. We're on the Gulf Coast and we're here to roam the beach, Clearwater Beach, check out some of the amenities nearby and walk the pier. We're here for the evening at this exciting vacation spot in acclaimed beach and we plan to be back later this year to check out more of this area. So be sure to subscribe so we can explore this area more together. Clearwater Beach is one of the more popular beaches in Florida and has been consistently ranked as best beach by TripAdvisor. Clearwater Beach is known for its soft white sand, shallow calm water, and beach promenade full of casual restaurants and shops. Clearwater Beach also has a 1,080 foot pier, Pier 60, which hosts nightly sunset celebrations weather permitting. We're really looking forward to the sunset tonight so be sure to stick with us till this evening. This is our second visit to Clearwater Beach and it's been a while since our last visit, like nine years or so. And we have really great memories of the beach, sitting on the soft white sand, gazing out on the Gulf waters, everything you expect from this beach. This visit, our initial impression of the beach uh, wasn't so great. Uh, we found parking, it wasn't easy, it wasn't too difficult either. Parking is $3 an hour in the lot we found and it's enforceable from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. And as you can see, the beach by the parking lot is considerably trashy, uh, way more trashy than the rest of the beach. Uh, I'm not sure if this is standard or maybe because it's a holiday weekend with Juneteenth and many people having Monday off as well. Plus it's Father's Day. And although there's a lot of trash laying around, the garbage trucks are consistently emptying the trash cans too. Unfortunately, I also had an experience with the restrooms and wow, not in a good way. As I stated before, this is a quick visit for us so we do plan to be back. So I'm curious to see the beach at a different time, a less busy time. I like to compare and contrast and see if it's an overall uh, cleaner experience next visit. I'm happy to report now that the further away we move from the parking lot, the cleaner and prettier the beach becomes. As we walk toward the pier, it becomes evident why TripAdvisor named Clearwater Beach the number one beach in the U.S. in 2019, 2018, and 2016. And it's beautiful past the pier also, pretty much pristine along the side where the inflatables are. Yeah, there are inflatables on this beach. Let's go check them out. There are a variety of different inflatables and other fun machines. I guess that's what I'll call them. <laughs> the prices vary based on what fun you choose and the quantity you choose. I think the prices are typical for amusement rides and a tourist area. They do have a website with the rundown of all the prices so I'll be sure to put the link to that website in the description box so you can plan accordingly. I think that's really important to kind of know ahead of time what to expect financially before the kids get there and start begging. <laughs> Clearwater Beach has even more amenities, more fun things to do. A marina is nearby. There's plenty of dining and shopping incredibly near the beach. Plus, you can walk and fish from the pier. We'll check the pier out soon. For now, we'll head across the street to check out some of the shopping and dining options here. There are shops on both sides of the street, actually. I see shop after shop after shop this way, so we're gonna take a walk and see what's over here. Construction is going on, so I'm pretty sure something is on the way. There's Frenchie's, a popular restaurant. I will most likely eat there on our return trip. There are other restaurants also along this way. Um, plenty of outdoor seating also, as you can see, so you can enjoy the people watching and that ocean breeze. We're stopping to check out all the menus that we see. Hopefully it's a benefit to you as you plan your upcoming trip. And we're checking it out for ourselves too. Perhaps we'll be able to get in two meals next time you visit Clearwater Beach. That would be nice. So if you see something that looks tasty that you're interested in, let us know. We would be happy to try to film it on our next visit. Since we're right across the beach, of course there are beach shops to pick up towels, sunglasses, sunscreen, all that you need for a great day at the beach. There's an inn as well, a grocery store, 
and in front of surf style a dolphin a really cool and popular photo opportunity everyone's been petting the dolphin on their way into surf style which is also a beach supply store that has a flow rider and artificial wave machine within the store so you can experience indoor surfing i want to try that so bad <laughs> looks like the clearwater visitor center is inside as well and the mural outside the store standing at 44 feet tall is by guy harvey the famous marine wildlife artist as we continue to walk down the promenade we see ice cream stores hamburger joints hotels pizza lots of places to stay lots of places to eat too directly across from the beach and more dolphins up ahead uh, there's definitely a lot of photo opportunities here of course you're across from the beach so you'll already have a lot of chances for some really great pictures anyways but these dolphins just add to the fun i love the little tie on this dolphin Okay, so we're going to head back across the street now to walk the pier because we want to leave plenty of time to enjoy the sunset. As we start walking toward the pier, we're coming across the Clearwater Beach Visitor Center. This is where you pick up your maps, brochures, coupons, discount booklets, general information about the area, and souvenirs. I always like to drop into the information centers when I visit an area. Uh, they're closed right now though, fortunately. And you know, while we were browsing on the other side of the street, I was wondering why are there so many dolphins around here? <laughs> and here's my answer. Uh, we were on the Clearwater Dolphin Trail and we're still on it now. This is the official start of the Dolphin Trail, which is a showcase of over a hundred six foot tall fiberglass dolphins each designed by a local artist and sponsored by an area business. From the articles that I've Googled and read, the dolphins were lined up right here on the pier at one point, and now they're located around town and in some public places. Something to keep an eye out for while you're visiting. More about this pier. This pier has a playground, uh, there are also concessions. There's no charge to walk the majority of the pier. We will need to pay a dollar each to get to the end of the pier. We're walking by the inflatables now and we'll cross over to get a look at the beach from the pier too. The sun sets at Pier 60, the nightly sunset celebration, doesn't seem to be happening. It normally runs from 6 to 10 p.m. and I did read somewhere that it is weather permitting and it was raining when we first got here and it didn't look too promising so I I imagine that's why we're not seeing any artisans or street performers that are normally a part of the Pier 60 sunset celebrations. You know, hopefully next time. We'd love to see it. We're still staying for the sunset though. Of course, you do have your viewfinders or binoculars um, right here on the pier to get a better view. And check out the sky. Isn't it beautiful? The sun's starting to go down. Uh, London told me he could see a dolphin or two under the pier. So I'm looking for dolphins now. And they didn't make me wait too long. I can see the dolphins. Uh, you can see the fin rising above the waters from time to time. This is a crowded beach with so much to look at and pretty much everyone on this pier is staring at the waters waiting for an appearance of the dolphins. And look, another dolphin sighting. <laughs> this one is a really, really popular photo op. It took a lot of patience to get close to this dolphin. So we just paid our dollar a piece to walk the rest of this pier. You can pay cash or walk into the store to pay by card. They also sell souvenirs and snacks in the shop too. You can also fish from this pier for a fee. There are daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly rates. So I'll put the website link in the description box so you can view all of the fishing rates as well as prices for rentals and bait. And check it out, the birds are walking the pier too. A lot of people who are way more adventurous and braver than me stood beside the birds, right beside them for pictures. And I have no casualties to report. I'm happy to say the birds are really, really calm, mostly just staying in one place. I still kept my distance. My gimbal allows me to get this close. <laughs> for the record, I am not brave. So you can see the sun is going down. Uh, we're gonna leave the pier now and head back down to the beach to watch the sunset. We have such a wonderful spot here, a clear view of the sunset, plus ways for the kids to jump over to keep them entertained as we stand here and stare at the sunset. 
just so beautiful. As I already mentioned, the beach is clean right here. We're on the side of the inflatables. They're right behind us. And it's also less crowded to the right of the pier. So nothing is distracting us from this spectacular sunset. I'm going to step into the water for just a bit. London is telling me that he saw something in the water, possibly a shark. Uh, that's the footage. <laughs> so you tell me what you see. Uh, he didn't see it pop back up for air, uh, so that made him pretty certain it was a shark rather than a dolphin. And um, I'm not going to go too far. I'm just going to step in just a bit. I just stated I'm not brave, but I want to show the color of the water. It is a little murky, I believe, because of the rain. It feels good, though. Uh, when we take into account all of the amenities this beach offers, the playground, concessions, the pier, all of the shops and restaurants nearby, we can see how TripAdvisor named this beach the number one beach in the U.S. for three years. The winners are determined by the quantity and quality of ratings by visitors who leave reviews. Travel and Leisure also recognized Clearwater Beach as one of the 14 best beaches in Florida, citing the many activities available. I think all of the amenities of this beach are nice. I felt the parking situation was decent. I definitely seen worse. So I am happy with what this beach offers. London and I aren't really city beachgoers because we prefer to stay away from the crowds. We enjoy space and room to spread out on the beach but as I stated already on this side of the pier it's not crowded at all so it's like we're enjoying the best of both worlds speaking of enjoying this sunset wow not really much left to be said except thank you for getting off the couch with us here at Clearwater Beach. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. If there's something you'd like for us to cover more or a place you'd like for us to check out here during our next visit, let us know in the comments, please. Uh, we definitely want to dine at a restaurant or two, check out the marina next time, and I want to try the flow rider at Surf Style. Uh, we'll be back in the theme parks next video. Uh, we're at Epcot and Walt Disney World touring the land. We're checking out a different part of Epcot and we'll be enjoying a gentle ride through the greenhouse, learn about new agricultural practices to make farming more efficient, sustainable, and environmentally friendly. And we'll also be soaring through the air and visiting locations far away. It's an educational and enlightening adventure and we'd love for you to join us off the couch again. Thanks again for getting off the couch with us this week. Thank you for all the likes, comments, and shares. Thanks for joining us week after week and making these adventures possible. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.